So, you want to make a cool, spinning, abstract, Doctor Strange kind of animation thing? Well, go ahead and go through all of doctor school, and then become a doctor, and then start patting your stomach and rubbing your head. That would be pretty strange. Hey guys, I'm back to by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender. Once again, take a look at this Doctor Strange abstract animation thing uh, that I was just talking about. And I, I don't really know what else to call it. I mean, it's similar to effects that they've done in Doctor Strange. So I'm just going to call it abstract Doctor Strange thing, because that sounds pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to be using Default Cube today. He's gotten his spotlight back on him now, as you can see. Boom, spotlight. We'll add that, I'll, add that, I'll, add that, I'll add that in post. That'll be a post spotlight. Probably not. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to the Materials tab. The, the, the Modifiers tab, sorry. With a little wrench. And go to Add Modifier. And we're going to add a Screw Modifier. And as you can see, it adds this like really weird thing where it just kind of duplicates the cube over and over again. Uh, the outside vertices just duplicates them over and over again until like it makes this weird thing. Uh, we can change the angle, and the angle will either add more or less of these. So you can see we make like a fully, um, just go back to the regular cube shape, or we can just you know keep spinning it and st and stretching it out until it becomes a, you know a full circle. Um, but the cool thing about this is we can not only change the angle, we can also change the screw value so it can kind of go up and down, you know, which is really cool. So this is what actually we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this the screw back on zero and put the angle on 360 because, you know, um, and then we're going to turn the access object to an actual object. So I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A and we're going to we're going to add in an empty plane axis. And I'm just going to hit G and move this bad boy just randomly over there just for now. Just to a different place. Not straight up, not straight down, not straight to the left or right. We're just going to move it to a random place. Um, and I'm going to go to access object and we're going to choose the empty. And now you can see it's kind of done this really weird thing where it's just made it huge. But we'll fix that in a second because what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the screw value. And then you can see when we change the screw value, it kind of has this really cool looking like, like screw kind of thing. I'm, I'm going to hit G and actually kind of move this a little bit closer so it looks like that instead because it was a little too big all right now with the screw value you can see we can kind of stretch it up or down i'm going to stretch it to about right there maybe about 10 looks pretty good to me now if we change the angle you can see it kind of twists around which is just the coolest thing so i can untwist this and it'd be like a straight cube or a straight rectangle rather and then we can just go dr strange um pretty cool uh, and it's kind of similar to some of the stuff that they did in that film. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on zero, first of all. So we're gonna, it's going to start straight like that. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go down to here to the animation tab. Change my start frame to, to zero because, you know. Uh, and then I'm going to turn. I'm going to hover my cursor over top of angle and hit I. And then we're going to go to maybe about frame. Let's just do frame 150. And then we're going to change the um, angle to like, I don't know, something crazy like 750. Why not? 750. Hit I. With your, with a cursor hovering over top of that value once again now when we play this you can see that it does this really cool spinning animation which just looks the coolest that looks the coolest um i'm gonna make our animation loop at 170 so i'll change the in frame to 170 down here hit enter now when we play this it will loop um but you can see it looks really choppy really like blocky and stuff you, you can leave it like this if you want to but like i think it looks kind of cool actually but um with that like this really harsh kind of whatever you want to call these um, you can change the uh, viewport steps up so it's smooth, obviously, um, and we can change the render up as well. So we're going to put this on maybe like 150, and then we can change the render to like 150 as well, so it renders the same amount of resolution. Now you can see, if we zoom in, it's still kind of like, like it's like not very smooth. We can fix that by going up to Object, Shade Smooth. It makes it look really kind of weird, so we're gonna fix this once again by going down to this little this little button right here, which is the normal normals tab, and opening that up, changing the auto smooth, clicking that on, and then we can just leave it on 30 most likely because this is a very strange angle we have here, so we can't really change it to 80 or anything. So I'm gonna leave it on 30 because it, it works pretty nicely for this. So if we play this now, you can see that it will go ahead and curve. We don't we don't have re weird choppiness, and it still does the really cool like zoomy, twisty Doctor Strange like thing. So. Uh, I just thought this was a really cool effect, and I kind of wanted to make a, a quick little quick little thingy on it. Um, and this is really nice, because like I said, if you grab that empty we had at the beginning of the video, which is this guy right here, and hit G to move it around, you can see you can kind of just get some really cool, like, things. You can make this, you can really make a staircase like this. Or you know what would be even cooler is a, um, uh, you know, one of those parking garages where it has, like, spherical, like, ramps. It's pretty cool, too. Um, but you can just use it for a lot of different things. I just thought it was really cool, abstract, like, Doctor Strange thing. It just looks really cool. You can also make a coil like this, I suppose. Um, but it's just really, really cool. I found that the closer that you put the um, empty, the uh, more, like, mystical it looks, though. 
So if I put it like really close like that, it starts looking like really, really Doctor Strange staircasey, you know? But anyway, like I said, that's it for today's tutorial. I just thought it was a really cool effect with a very simple um, way to do it. Looks really cool right there as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Uh, that is that abstract Doctor Strange animation thingy. Uh, I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.